Hi everyone, here is a video of like my 2023 recap. Um, I worked in 24 sketchbooks during the entire year um, and I thought I would kind of take you through some of them. It's a lot. Um, also, uh, disclaimer, this is rambly. I'm not editing this, so if you don't like it, bye. Um, <laughs> so, but we're gonna jump in. It's seriously a lot of stuff to look at, so... Um, I need to kind of move these out of the way. There's like, some of these are barely filled. Some of them are completely filled. It's just kind of how I work. Um, oh, also, hopefully the setup's a little bit nicer. I'm using my actual camera, but that also means that I have to zoom in like that and kind of figure things out. And my mount is really far up. It's like a ceiling mount, so it's really hard to get to. So um, hopefully this is okay. Um, so we started at number 103, which is crazy. Um, I believe this is the first sketchbook of the year. Um, I also just moved, so like everything is chaotic here and I can't find number 112, I think. Um, and I don't know where it is, so hopefully this is the earliest sketchbook, but, um, here we go. It says it's abandoned, which means I didn't fill that many pages. Um, but I am one of those people that think if something doesn't serve you well, or if you don't feel happy working in something, it doesn't make sense to force yourself to continue to do that. Um, it, if you do, it could have the opposite effect where you never want to work in it. So I would much rather abandon something and move on to things that help me be creative. Um, I don't know if I'm going to show you every single page of all these because it's crazy, but... There are slower flip throughs, ones where I explain every page or talk you through everything. Man, I haven't seen this in a long time. <laughs> That's crazy. Um, yeah, so all of those videos are on Patreon. Um, I film monthly sketchbook tours over there where I like really dive into them. And then I'm also doing a series where I am... Uh, archiving all of my sketchbooks so like with no talking just flipping through to show exactly what's inside and out all of the the bits about it so um that way if like my sketchbooks ever I don't know burst into flames like I have a digital record of them um okay so that was number one complete actually volume 103 is what it is um that was a art creation sketchbook in the square format, which I have tried multiple square sketchbooks. They're just never for me. This is a Loic, oh no, I'm. it's a moleskin notebook. Um, number 104, I started this on the, the 7th of January, almost exactly a year ago. Oh my God, I remember I was sitting in a coffee shop doing these. Um, I focused a lot on character art because that's something I still really want to get good at. So I remember that kind of thing. Plus I was really into ballpoint pens. Still am. I cannot for the life of me flip this. There we go. Um, there's a lot of stuff that I really hate in these, but that's like, it's a good thing. You know? You make ugly drawings and you learn from it and you move on. Sorry, my fingers are not working today. This was a video, like one of the few videos I actually filmed last year. Yep, 
Yeah, I often get comments saying that my sketchbooks are um, just scribbles or um, I had someone say like, oh, you should really be using a pencil before you draw an ink, which I get it. Like, you know, when you're first starting out, that's great. I mean, uh, hell, I'll still do that now and then, but, um, you know, after doing art for so long, my goal is to be loose and free and crazy and scribble and even though that's not necessarily what most people want their art to look like it's what genuinely like makes me feel like I'm doing something exciting um so yeah um I've been trying my best to like combat the the part of me that desperately wanted to be perfect and like I, I went to art school and I learned all the things and I am actively trying to unlearn all of that stuff because I felt like I was maybe forced into a way of working that was over calculated that felt like everything had to be like academic or like what would potentially get into a museum which is so the opposite of like the stuff I've wanted to do so um yeah uh, and I realized this like a couple years ago and I'm still trying to go like this is insane looking and I I love that I love like I literally this whole thing was I wanted to push the proportions of this drawing so this is pushing it, it's real weird, and then I went even crazier, and then I went even crazier. And like, I just love that sort of like, it doesn't have to be perfect. Like, all of this is a record of my time here on Earth, and even if it's weird or ugly or not um, aesthetically pleasing, it doesn't matter. Like, I'm, I'm putting in the work, and it's work that makes me happy. So, yeah, that's my little thought on that. my god lots of Genshin characters and then this one is done there so that was number two of last year or 104 this one here is one that um, my now husband bound for me um, we used to run a sketchbook making company a company aka small business um, and he made this for me so that way I could promote the books that we were making. Um, so I didn't work much in it. I did enough to show it off so that we could um, promote our shop and then I kind of abandoned it from there. This kind of stuff makes me happy because um, like I I see it as like a, a record of that time. Um, I feel really happy that we no longer have to um, pay our bills based off of just what we could sell. Uh, that was like a really, really hard time for us. Um, so we actually closed that business last year, which is bittersweet. Like it was really sad. I cried a lot about it, but in the end, like I'm definitely way happier now that it's gone. Um, Okay, let's zoom out again. If I can reach my camera. Okay. So this one is number 106. So this, I started right after the launch of my Mossery collaboration. Actually, I can go get those covers for you. So I did a collab with Mossery. Here are the covers. Um, it was genuinely like one of my lifetime artist goals and I accomplished it last year. I cried like a little baby. Um, I'm really proud of them. I think they're really cute. Um, you can still get them, which is exciting. So if you feel like it, go for it. But um, yeah, this was like one of my proudest achievements of last year and I'm still really chuffed about it um but they launched on 
actually it might not have been the 13th it might have been the 12th so they launched right around this time um and then I got mine in and then I started these and um yeah so this is a plain notebook mastery insert which I prefer um because I really like crinkly paper um at this point because I was still in that like that mindset of like making illustrations for um for a final product or like things that kind of looked cohesive to my mastery co covers I felt like I needed to work a certain way so there's a lot of art in here that um, I still really love and I'm really proud of and I like uh, playing around in the style every so often but um, it's not quite who I am anymore although it's not that far off I don't know how to explain it it's like scribbly and chaotic which is definitely how I like to work but um, but it is also I don't know it's just like a, a part of like who I was and I feel like I'm moving on from that but I still really love them and I'm still really I do really like to work that way um, here's swatches I think I got Tombow markers to celebrate my um, my collaboration um, color studies for a painting Starting over, yeah, lots of scribblies, and I can tell, like, I'm still really weird with proportions, like, I f still feel really um, not confident with a lot of things, but I like that I'm experimenting, and back then, I was not happy that I couldn't get it. I was not happy that I didn't have any sort of consistency, but at this point in my life, I'm pretty like I'm pretty excited about it because that means like I'm not tied down to a single style or box, which is something that I have been trying to combat for a long time because when my art started taking off in on Instagram, like, it was like 20, I don't know, 2018 or something like that. Um, I had a very different style. If you've been around since then, you will probably have memories of that. But, um, yeah, my style was very different. And um, I actually got really depressed for a long time because I forced myself to be in that style. And I forced myself to create every single day in that style this thing that didn't serve me any purpose other than like this was what people knew me for so I felt pressured to stay in that sort of place but um yeah and I think it was 2021 I had this epiphany where I was like I need to let go of that like I need to not be clinging on to it for dear life anymore and just experiment and have fun which is which is the reason why I now fill so many sketchbooks because like I I'm having more fun than I ever have which is exciting um if you're wondering these pages in, in between are to protect the color pencil from transferring to the other side when I'm drawing um really I should spray these and I used to do that but um I'm really lazy and I haven't done that in a long time so I like these a lot um these like really scribbly ones I love all of these colors like I feel like they all work really good together um, same with this really really love that one these were from a sketchbook session, which um, I have done these like live drawing sessions with my Patreon. So that's what that a lot of those are from. Okay, so that's number four of the year. Here's number five, 
which is also a Mossery sketchbook. This one is a watercolor one. Um, I don't know how much of this I actually filled. Here's a little painting of me playing Neopets with stickers. Swatches. I don't know what this was. And that's it. I like the paper in this, the watercolor paper. Like, I feel like watercolors look so good, but there's so much pressure because the paper is so thick and nice. I feel like I can't really do anything with that. So um, that was quickly abandoned. So that was number five or number 107. Um, okay, so zoom in again. Oops. Sorry about the, the shaky. Okay, so this one is from April to May. It's number 108. Um, here we go. This is a moleskin. Which I, I'm sure you could tell I really like these small moleskin notebooks. Swatches more swatches I'm sorry my phone is going off it's crazy <sighs> yeah I can see how frustrated I get and I'm trying a lot of stuff but I can just tell how unhappy yeah, it says practice, you ass. <laughs> um, studies, more studies, more studies, more studies. Swatches. These are Studio Ghibli. Yeah, I can feel like I'm so unsure. These are more studies um, about proportions. Ooh, this is good. I still like this. I remember being really proud of this. Um, yeah, I feel like those proportions are nice. Uh, that's another thing. I w would draw everybody with a baby face, and I was really like, I need to not do that anymore. But... Um, it has opened my eyes, like doing all of these studies and and practicing and all of that. Like it, it has made me realize that like baby face is something that I just naturally do. And like, why try to fight it? Like, why should I try to conform to what other people are doing? Like if baby face is my default, like just run with it, you know? Um, Oh, this I think people were telling me what to draw on my Instagram stories. Um, which was fun. This slow poke is hilarious. So funny. Yeah, I really like this sort of stuff where it's like crazy and I like it all just makes me laugh. Um, okay, and the end is blank other than some random math back there, which I don't know what that's about. So that was number six, I think. Um, this is number 109 or number seven of the year. So this is um, a sketchbook I filled in one week. Um... in uh, July. Some One Piece. I We have these books. Um, Adam's like super into One Piece. I'm still not caught up. I like kind of stopped at Skypea and I know it gets really good. I know. Um, I just am not ready to commit. Um, 
I will watch it soon. Or I might read the manga since we also have the manga. But um, we have these books where um, it shows like every single face from the manga. It's it's like crazy. Um, and I was just like randomly picking faces and drawing them. So they're really weird and I love that. Um, a snail. I think I was also asking for drawing suggestions here. my pen is leaking Robin I did a, a digital piece based off of that which it felt like went really well so cute I always draw myself with the nerd glasses because I have nerd glasses but essentially Umino from uh, Sailor Moon that's what I look like <laughs> I really like these there's some um, there's like a lot of like wonky lines and I feel like it looks very good um, just watercolor things glued in here. Scribble, I don't know what that is. Oh, here's blind drawings. I love doing blind drawings. They're like so crazy and chaotic but like they're so funny like here's Luffy looks insane that might be Link yeah I just think they look oh my god Kikyo from Inuyasha um Yeah, I just love how they look and they like really warm you up and like allow you to do ugly stuff without being like so hard on yourself, you know. Swatches. More swatches. More swatches. That's it, bye, that's what it says. Um, and then there's just like some random shit back here. So that's that one. Wow, 23 minutes and we're like only through, what, seven of them? Okay, the, here comes some that are not that filled. Um, okay. So this one here, this is a, Papier, is that how you say it? Um, notebook, which I love the covers. They're so damn cute, but I was so disappointed in the paper. Um, I love shitty paper, honestly. Um, I like it when it's all crinkly, but the it bled through. Like, watercolors bleed through pretty bad. Um, so which is unfortunate because that's what I wanted to use this for so I definitely abandoned this one um and I, ha I got two notebooks at the same time the other one I use as a recipe book now because it's just not it didn't work out but oh I love 
that. Yep, that's it. Okay, so that one's done. This is number 111. This one was specifically for sketchbook session, I think. Or I at least used it a lot for that. Um, which was that live drawing session I did for Patreon, which um, they're on pause right now. I'm doing recorded versions for a bit while I'm getting my life together, but, um, oh, this was when Tears of the Kingdom was out and everyone was playing it, um, I got really into that, like, the, the depths kind of vibes, like, the dark, weird spore things, I don't know how to explain it, but, like, something about that, like, made my brain like giddy so um I got really into drawing stuff like that um yeah these were for a sketchbook session I believe yeah I think it was landscapes I love these pages this also started my love for red and green together and how that could look not Christmassy which is wild um mountains. I do love doing landscapes. I feel like there's so much room to be chaotic and and free and not stress. I feel like people are so the opposite. Like a gargoyle or something. Oh, I loved this session. We did like um, mythical creatures. Like the that like sort of aesthetic like unicorns and stuff. Like this I, there's something about this, like, I wish I could tattoo that inside my brain. Okay, we gotta pick up the speed if we're gonna get through all this. The last unicorn. I think these were botanicals for this session. I couldn't tell you what the hell that is, though. <laughs> oh, maybe not. I don't know what the session was. Caves? Oh, it might have been caves and... And... Shit. Oh my god. I don't know what that... Oh, maybe we all submitted our own pictures. I couldn't tell you. Oh, is it done? Okay, this one's done. Abandoned. Well, I mean, that's pretty cool. Okay, so that's that one. Here's number 113. Um, gotta zoom in. Okay. So, 113, here we go. Is it focus? There we go. Okay, sorry about that. So this was in July. A lot of these I have going at the same time. Um, so, yeah. Here's more of that, like, sort of weird... Um, cave vibes that I've been into. I don't know how to explain that. Um, packaging. I just love these moleskin notebooks because they're so thin and like there's like no pressure. I feel like oh. this we were at a convention and people were giving me people or like characters to to eventually draw. So that's what that is. My niece has this little leaf clip and I drew her. March 7. More of her with that little clip even though she doesn't have that much hair. I mean, she kind of does now. 
playing with A. Blank pages. Oh, is it done? Abandoned. So, yeah, I see what I mean. Like, if things aren't serving me, I just get rid of it. This one is prime example. I'm not even... Well, I do need to zoom out because the next ones are... Um... Okay, this is going to be crazy to you, and for those of you who think this is a big waste, I'm sorry, it kind of is, but um, here's Sketchbook 114. <laughs> this is it. Um, I realized that I do like Art Creation Sketchbooks because they're so cheap, um, but uh, there's something about the paper recently just hasn't been um thin enough like I just really really love thin paper and although this isn't like super thick it just doesn't vibe with me so I think this is the last time I tried an art creation sketchbook this year um even though in the past I've filled so many and I actually have a ton that I like I like bulk buy them when I have like a gift card or something um so I have like a bunch to get through, but I might come back to this because it's ridiculous to draw on one piece of paper, but it wasn't serving me. So I was just like, okay, goodbye. <laughs> so that's that one, really simple. Um, this one, this is the large format that has um, changed my life. Um, I am still working in this one, even though this one I started in May of last year. This is a soft cover moleskin notebook. It's one of the larger ones. Um, and I genuinely love it. There's something about the, the paper and which I have always loved moleskin paper, even though I know it's like pretty much considered the worst notebook paper you can get. But there's something about it that like really just um, speaks to me. But there's something about this, like, I I can tell, like, at times that I am not used to working so big, but then some, like this, like, it's, like, this much of it is filled, but, um, I'm definitely, like, like, this is awesome. Like, I love this. But now that I'm starting to feel more comfortable in this larger space. I think I'm going to buy another one of these in the future because I just genuinely love working in it. Um, and though there's like a lot of blank pages, this is what a sketchbook should be like, in my opinion, like not worried about filling every single space, not worrying about what it looks like, just kind of throwing up in it essentially this next drawing um this was from a sketchbook session for sure i love how watercolors look on this paper oh also like i don't work in it straight like i definitely forgot it existed multiple times so i just started again in december december 22nd i think it said so this I'm playing around with like different and weird palettes for me. And then I also love this space to um, swatch acrylic paint when I'm working on like bigger paintings. Um, so this I was testing out colors for that. Same with this. Um, I really love this red. Um, and then this is like I painted my dining room table and when I had excess paint I just came here and smudged it on. Um, not to waste it, you know, I don't like it. This is at least something as opposed to throwing it in the trash. So I'm still currently working in this one. So I will put that in a different pile, but A plus. Um, here is the pink sketchbook. I'm not going to flip through this one because I flipped through it in a whole separate video, but here it is again, really quick. It's just a sketchbook that's filled with pink. Um, here's green. I'm pretty sure I flipped through this one also in that video. Um, if I didn't, sorry, there's a version of it on Patreon. <laughs> so there's that. And then, uh oh, we lost some. Which ones did we lose? What is this? Number 118. Okay.
We just lost one. Don't worry. Okay, so this starts a stint in small sketchbooks. Um, I'm pretty sure that I flipped through this one as well in that pink sketchbook um, because in that other video because this is also a fully pink sketchbook so um, I won't be flipping through that go check out that other video it's um, rambly <laughs> okay so here's the next one this is number 119 um, this is a Leuchtturm uh, notebook I do like these as well. Um, yeah, I think they're great. I think I prefer moleskin, just a little bit more, even though this is good for fountain pens, but because I've been using ballpoint pens lately, um, that doesn't really matter to me. But I'm gonna go through this as quickly as possible. Oops, just found this. I must have abandoned it at some point. Um, yeah, it's funny. I just said this in a Patreon video I filmed, but I had... Uh, <laughs> I planned at the end of the year. I was like, oh, in the next year I'm going to... Um, I'm going to work in one or two sketchbooks and not do this crazy working in like 10 at a time thing. I'll be able to get them done a lot quicker if I, um, if I work in just one at a time. Um, and then I immediately started like four sketchbooks. So the ones at the end are brand new that I have just started. So get ready for that. Um, also, I like to, I'm sure you've noticed, but I like to write words in here. Like, it's like a form of journaling, I feel like. Um, oh, Zelda. Tears of the Kingdom. So good. So, so good. Although, I say that, but I don't really play a lot of video games. I watch a lot. Um, I've always been that way. Like, my sisters would play video games when I was little, and then I would fall asleep. So they also put me to sleep. I really like these. I like really like the line quality. But yeah, so I know a lot about a lot of games, but I don't play a lot of games. Besides like Genshin and Tales games, but even the Tales games I just... Um, I am always like 3P or uh, 2P, so I don't really do a lot. I just do the battles. Some of these are from sketchbook sessions, like this. I feel like that's pretty obvious because it looks like I actually took time on that. <laughs> um, I love these like botanical ones though. I think this session was interiors. I really love working like with negative space. I like a lot of the times it's just how my brain like starts to to draw things. Um, this is where I began to be obsessed with this. Um, it's this one. Zig Clean Color Real Brush in uh, yellow green. But yeah. That and then like this is a uni jet stream ballpoint pen that I've been using with it but okay so that one is done here we go another mini this one is number 120 this is a moleskin yeah um, September 6th is when I started this one I remember drawing these in bed. This was when I was living in my old house and um, I drew in bed a lot because I was really depressed there but now life is a lot better. Just 
still trying to work on characters and how I want to draw people. This I was very actively um, trying to figure out proportions, which I think is, well, I still love this. Um, I think that's uh, fine, but I also feel like every time I would do that, every time I would land on something, I always felt immediately constrained to that and like I couldn't experiment and have fun and do other things because um, because I've committed which I um, don't like so that's kind of changed at this point I'm feeling differently about all of that but Oh, I love these pages. I feel like this is, this like makes my brain really happy. Like this too. I love the collage stuff. I love the, the proportions that I got for the characters. Like, I love the text. Here's Luffy. Vivi. I unfortunately think this, yeah, this was when my one cat passed away. It was like right next to my birthday. So I didn't draw in it for a while. This was well after that had happened. And is that it? That's it for that one. So that one ended really sad. Um, let's move on from that. This one here is number 121. I wrote it wrong here. 121. Um, this one I started in, looks like, September. This is right around my birthday also. Um, this is a knockoff moleskin notebook. If you search on Amazon, um, if you search for like plain pocket notebook or something like that, it comes up. It's a two pack for like $10. Um, they're pretty good. The paper is thin. Uh, I do like the paper. It's not the same as moleskin, but like it's literally a quarter of the price so um hard to be pissed about that this is again like i do that thing where i don't want to waste any paint for like bigger painting so i'll just throw it in a sketchbook um i you know i could come back and draw over it but of course we're not we're not doing that here So this is where I, like, this took me a long time. Um, when I started this September 23rd, I did the rest of this on the same day, which was uh, December 10th. Yeah. So, it, yeah, it was pretty crazy. Um, this sketchbook actually ended up being, like, Okay, well, first it starts with sketchbook session stuff with my Patreon, so that's what this all is. I didn't expect to finish the sketchbook that day. Um, this is a cursed baby, so is this one. Um, we were drawing from, like, photos of, like, old toys, which is really fun. And then here, that was the end of the sketchbook session. And then here, my sister was streaming Tears of the Kingdom for me. And she was like, I'm going to finish it. So like, you know, you're here to stay for a while. And I was like, okay. So I just started drawing. And um, I started with like doing more um, looking at references of old toys. Because like the shapes are so interesting. And it's fun to do quick drawings of that. And... 
Um, there's no pressure and a lot of it's like really cute um but then i decided like you know what i could like i could finish the sketchbook tonight um so that's what i ended up doing and this is what a lot of um i got like some mean comments about this one in my um in like the youtube shorts video i posted um because they're so loose and crazy and frankly they're pretty ugly um but I learned something by doing all of this, which I didn't realize I was doing until well after I had done it. Um, so a lot of these are like Studio Ghibli characters. We get to a point where it turns into like all Zelda characters. Um, and I drew all of these incredibly quickly. It must have been like max two minutes each, but like it's probably more like 30 seconds to a minute for each drawing. Um, I was using Tombow markers, which allows me to be really quick and, and uh, loose. But um, while I was doing this, I found out that I, I was practicing how proportions work, how I want proportions to work, how my hand automatically starts drawing things in a certain way when I'm timed. Um, and I think that that was pretty valuable for me, even though like this might be seen as scribbles and a waste of paper, but like there's something about like working quickly that forces your instincts to just take in. And like, I know th these are like just ugly drawings, so like it's not that serious, but like, um, looking back on it, I feel like I practice proportions and how I want to draw characters more in this one single night than I have in the past entire year. Like I feel like this was more helpful because I wasn't overthinking, I wasn't second guessing, I literally was just drawing to draw and I let the ugly shit happen, I let the cute stuff happen and there was no, like I didn't have time to judge myself and um so even if these drawings aren't up to, you know, everyone's standards, I feel like they they definitely mean a lot to me. And I feel like even though the sketchbook is not my prettiest sketchbook, I feel like this one was one of the most important ones of last year, which is pretty crazy that it happened in December. But yeah. And also it marks a time where like my sister was playing video games and I was just hanging out with her and it was fun. Um, yeah, so that's that one. There she be. Um, okay, moving on. So this is number 122. This is a green sketchbook. I think I... I don't know if I showed this one, so I'm going to flip through it because I don't know if I started this one after I filmed that video or not. But this is my green sketchbook. I'm just going to do it quickly because I don't know. Yeah, I just, I love, I love all the loose craziness. Like, what the hell is that? I couldn't tell you. I love this combo, though, the ballpoint pen and that um, zig brush pen. Oh, you know what? I do think I showed this one because this, this thing that's not even green was there. But, um, there's one more, maybe two, and then that's it. So, there you go. A little recap of that one. So, I'm still working in this one, obviously, because it's not done. This one I just rediscovered. I'm, I thought it was abandoned, but I actually think I should keep going with it, so... This one was, is number 123, and I started it on the 13th, so this was immediately after I finished that sketchbook with all the loose Legend of Zelda drawings and stuff, um, which this is when I started like fully reflecting on all of that. And like this page even says, I like that I'm unsure, which is something that's so like, what a simple statement, but it's so like radical for me because 
before I hated that I didn't know what direction I wanted to go in and I hated that I was still this is cursed we don't look at that um I hated that I didn't know what I was doing or didn't have my style or whatever but now I'm just like it's really cool that I am just doing whatever it is I want to do because I'm not stuck in one place I'm not forced into a tiny box that I'm you know forcing myself into like it I could just do whatever like here's some guys I love it but and more like they're so weird but like this doesn't feel out of place in my sketchbooks like in, in my opinion um don't know what that is and you know I saw a picture of a drawing by Miyazaki it was like concept art for um I forget which film but it was concept art and in that image that he made like I think it was like a full illustration with a painting and all of that you can see like attempts at faces that were erased like the ghosts of like former like drawings and I there is something I don't normally like I feel like when I see his stuff like of course like we all know he struggles he like is one big struggle but like I I feel like I never like quite sat down and like thought about like him actually like thinking that something wasn't good enough and erasing it you know what I mean and then that it like validated me I just felt like oh well it's okay to make mistakes if this literal master like makes mistakes all the time so I don't know just just made me think I like this page a lot. I love that like green color all of a sudden. It's so bizarre. And eyeballs and nothing else. So I'm still working in this one. We have three more. And they're pretty much, there's like barely anything in them because these were the ones I started right at the end of December that I was like, oh yeah, I should just work in one sketchbook from now on and then boom, here it is. Um, so this is a, um, Mossery plain notebook and I've been picking up paints again, which has been exciting. So there's some of that in here. This is excess paint from like a big acrylic painting. And so is that. And that's it for this one. Like I said, just started it, but technically it was last year. Um, so that's why it's included in this. Um, same with this. This is um, a Stalogy notebook that I cut down to fit in here. So I really love how crinkly this paper is. And then this is quite literally it. So just started that one. And then this is the final one um, that I started last year. And I'm still working in it. This is a moleskin notebook, um, started on the 13th, but I have barely worked in it. Um, so this was like a place that I can do, uh, more like technical drawing, like, uh, where I'm taking my time. It's still wonky. It's still weird. I'm still not that fussed about proportions or whatever, but I am taking my time. I'm layering it. I'm making it seem more like a finished illustration, which is something I don't normally do. So um yeah that's what this one's about i really love this page um same with this yeah it's all like it's kind of it's still like wonky and weird but um it's definitely more like of a a piece you know what i mean um, still a space for me to have fun, but a space where I'm like more focused, which is rare for me. And that's it. That's it for the, the things. There it all is. They're all on the floor now, but here you go. Um, 
hopefully this was interesting to you almost like an hour long video of just me flipping through and rambling about stuff if you want more um calm slow careful videos about these sketchbooks where i like fully talk about my thought process things that were going on in my life or um you know I, any specifics like that even like materials i have all of that on patreon most of those videos you can get for one to five dollars i also have um a sticker club on there so if you like stickers and prints and we're now doing we i mean i am now doing mini trading card prints um so that's like a whole thing on there um and it's just another way you can support me and also get good stuff and fun things for you so um but thank you thank you so much for watching this video for hanging out with me for not being so judgmental about like how um crazy and wonky all of my art is and how chaotic these videos are but um yeah if you have any suggestions for the future let me know and um other than that i'll see you guys next time bye